What's up everybody, Gene here today with our Madden uh, 25 play now. I'll be bringing you guys, I think, week one updates in the NFL after it officially started on Thursday. Let's continue our uh, Monday night web series. Uh, today I'm going to be taking on the New York Giants uh, with the Dallas Cowboys on what I believe in real life was the game of the week. The Cowboys versus the New York Giants. Very sloppy game, but... It was a damn good game. Uh, the Cowboys should have blew out the Giants with all the turnovers they had, but unfortunately, they barely slid by them. I think the score was I think the score was 31 to 36. The Cowboys winning at home for the first time in the past three seasons. So, all right, so let's get things started. Uh, for one, in real life, you know, and now check this out right here. Uh, I'm going down to Whitney. I'm playing right now. I'm, I'm playing now. I'm doing a play now right here. I'm trying to get things going. And if it wasn't, you know, this is all just completely my fault. I'll see Miles Austin really late, throwing interception. And this isn't how it went in real life. In real life, the very first play of the game, Dallas Cowboys versus the Giants, Demarcus Ware got an interception when Eli Manning tried to throw a screen pass. And uh, Demarcus sniffed that out, dropped back in coverage, and got it. The very first play of the game. The Cowboys had a turnover, and we got the ball on our 20 on our own 20 yard line. So we should have scored, you know. We should have scored, and uh, the offense unfortunately stalled, and they were only able to get three points out of that turnover. And if that wasn't bad enough, <clears throat> if that wasn't bad enough, the uh, overall the entire game, the Cowboys had an interception, a fumble recovery, and another two. I think it was two to three interceptions. I'm not sure. I think it was two interceptions one fumble recovery a total of three turnovers and we could not convert on any of those like the Dallas Cowboys should have been up 21-0 the first half the first half of the game but the offense was just so off balance they just weren't getting anything going it was just a bad game of course you guys see above Baltimore Ravens versus the Denver Broncos 27-49 they Eli Manning picked or actually Peyton Manning picked apart the Baltimore Ravens did not look like a Super Bowl team and uh, unfortunately you guys see the score uh, in surprising news the New England Patriots uh, barely slid by the Buffalo Bills with a uh, I think a last minute field goal and they won 23 to 21 so that was kind of uh, kind of weird that the Patriots kind of almost lost to the Buffalo Bills uh, the Seattle Seahawks flew by the Carolina Panthers uh, great game to watch uh, Overall, not bad, not bad at all. And uh, the Bengals, the Bengals lost to the Chicago Bears. Tillman, I think Tillman got two interceptions in that game. But AJ Green for the Bengals did crazy good. I think he ran, he caught over 150 yards. The Miami Dolphins uh, got past the Cleveland Browns, 23 to 10. Not bad, not bad. Of course, the Minnesota Vikings and Adrian Peterson, I think the NFL's leading rusher last year, 24-34, lost to the Detroit Lions. Uh, that was a pretty good game to watch. And uh, so here we go. The Oakland Raiders, uh, Indianapolis Colts, Andrew Luck, I think, uh, did pretty good against uh, the Oakland Raiders. Pryor did all right, though. You know, the, he won the starting job. The Kansas City Chiefs blew out the Jacksonville Jaguars. I didn't even watch that game, but I heard it was bad. I heard they blew them out. It wasn't even, like, fun to watch. A really great game to watch was the Atlanta Falcons versus the New Orleans Saints, 17-23. to uh, The defense by the New Orleans Saints was just impeccable. Damn good. Uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks <laughs> lost by one point to the New York Jets. I think it was by a, uh, I think it was by a field goal. I'm not sure. Uh, the Tennessee Titans, 16-9 to in a surprising turn of events beat Big Ben in his own home turf you know that was probably like a rude awakening to him like step your game up man uh, the Green Bay Packers of course that was one of the greatest games I watched this past Sunday uh, yesterday Green Bay Packers versus the 49ers 28-34 uh, Matthews was going at Colin Kaepernick they had like some scuffles at each other uh, kind of started fighting a little bit and yeah man it was a great game to watch Baldwin Anquan Bolden did really good for the San Francisco 49ers and man that was a crazy game and of course, the New York Giants versus the Dallas Cowboys, 31 to 36. The Cowboys should have blew them out. Right now, second, uh, third quarter, six to seven. I'm doing horrible right now, playing against them. Uh, you guys see me? I knocked Eli Manning out, and uh, now they got the backup quarterback, the New York Giants. In this game right now, 
Uh, they have the backup quarterback. I'm keeping up with them, though. 9-7. to seven. I need to stop making mistakes, and uh, I should take the game. But anyways, continue watching this game while I comment and, uh, you know, talk about NFL news around from around the way. But this game gets crazy towards the end, and I win with a last-second touchdown, like literally one second left. Anyways, around the news, Anquan Bolden, like I said, Colin Kaepernick, Anquan Bolden uh, caught 13 of 17 passes from Kaepernick, 208 yards uh, for, I think it was Bolden, uh, no, Kaepernick threw his way to 208 yards, and uh, that wasn't bad, man. Reggie Bush did work for the Detroit Lions. That offense he's in, man, is just working for him. A.J. Green, I told you guys, 60% of the Bengals' pass yards were caught by A.J. Green. Unfortunately, they still lost to the Chicago Bears because Charles Tillman, the cornerback for the Chicago Bears, picked off two interceptions from Andy Dalton and uh, got two interceptions from Andy Dalton. And uh, they still did the thing, and it wasn't bad, man. New Orleans Saints defense, of course, they got a new defensive coordinator, Rob Ryan. I think it was he's from the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, he ended up going to the New Orleans Saints, and he put the heat on uh, Atlanta Falcons quarterback Matt Ryan. And they ended up getting the win with 23-17. The New Orleans Saints defense was the key key thing in that, you know, the key thing in that game. Danny Amendola has the number one. I think he was like he did damn good for the New New England Patriots. And uh, I think uh, I think Tom Brady misses Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez as much as you know you don't want to talk about Aaron Hernandez doing you know bad with the case he's got against him. Uh, but anyways. Uh, Tom Brady lost Wes Welker, he doesn't have Gronkowski, and he lost, uh, he doesn't have Aaron Hernandez, man, last year they were beast, and then so this year it didn't seem like they did pretty, did, did good at all, but Amendola did step up, and uh, he caught 10 passes for 104 yards, but man, Brady did not look like he was comfortable during that game, and uh, Overall, guys, that's it, man. Check this out. Fourth quarter, I was trying to stop the Giants with four field goals. I was trying to stop them so they didn't get a field goal and beat me. And here they go. They get me with a streak route. 15 to 10. They end up scoring. And now, this is the end right here. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. I mean, can I come back? Can I come back? Fourth quarter, 29 seconds left. Two timeouts left. Can Tony Romo do it, you know? And no, unfortunately, Austin Miles drops the ball. But it's all right, man. Let me hit him with that skinny post. And I decide, I've noticed that he, they were playing cover two, cover four the entire game. So I decided to just expose the middle, you know, expose the middle. And yeah, it's working out for me. Fourth quarter, 12 seconds left. Play action skinny. Williams, if you would have held on to the ball, I would have, ooh, we would have. Actually, I think I would have lost the game because the clock would have ran out. But Bryant almost comes up with a deflected pass. And here I go, man. Two seconds left. Touchdown with the skinny post to Williams. That's game, man, ladies and gentlemen. That was a great game I played against them. Really sloppy, like in real life. Uh, but overall, guys, that's week one scores. Of, of course, I don't have Monday night's game scores because they haven't been played yet. Anyways, this is Jen. I'm out.